Hi and welcome to Code Tutorials. Today we'll take a look at how you can create card stack style galleries using the Cards Gallery widget from our key add-ons for Elementor plugin. With this widget, you can create galleries where the images are stacked one on top of the other. You can find some examples of its use on the widgets page. The first one is Shuffle Right, where the next image can be accessed from the right. Then we have a centered card gallery. With this one, you can access the cards both from the left and the right equally. And finally, we have Shuffle Left, where the cards are accessed from the left side of the stack. These are just some ideas to give you a sense of what you can accomplish with this widget. So let's take a look at how the cards gallery works. Head over to the back end. And in the Elementor sidebar, search for Cards Gallery. There it is. Drag it over to the right. This is what it looks like by default. We have three items or images, and they're stacked to shuffle from the right. So when you start customizing it, the first option you should look at is the image shuffle style. The default setting is right, but you can change that to left, or left and right. And it's this last one that I'll be keeping for my gallery. Following that, we have three items for the three cards in our gallery. If you want to add more images, just click on the Add Item button here. I plan on sticking with three, so I'll remove this one. And now we can start customizing the first item. When we open it up, the first thing we see is a link field. You can add any URL you like, but since this is just a demo, I'll set a hashtag that will act as a link to the same page that the element is on. OK. Then, you can click on this field to pick the image you want to use. I'll set this one. Insert media. OK, there. Now, I can do the same for the other two items. Set a placeholder link and choose the image I want to use. OK. And last but not least, let's see, this one. And insert media. Alright, they're all there. Once my gallery is filled, I can pick the image proportions. It's set to medium by default, but you can change that to any of these other options, such as thumbnail, or a neat and unobtrusive gallery, or something more eye-catching like original. Now, the original looks like this for me because of the initial dimensions of the images I added. So, if you add images that are bigger or smaller than 800 pixels, which is the width of the images I'm using, then your gallery will have a somewhat different size. Additionally, the images you add should have the same or at least similar dimensions to keep your gallery looking neat and in proportion. OK, moving on. Our next set of settings is for the developer tools. When we open them, we can see there's just one option here. And we can switch its setting to yes and get it to display the widget in the form of a standard WordPress shortcode. That's this text you see here, which we can easily copy for use elsewhere on our site. All right. Now let's see what we have under the Style tab. There are just two options here. The first is Scale Step. When I move the slider to increase the value, the image cards underneath the active one, the one on top, are scaled down to a percentage of their size. I don't want to make these images too small and therefore hard to see, so I'll set 0.19%. And the Offset Step option. With the slider here, we can shift how far out the bottom images will be from the one that's on top. You'll want to be careful here. If you set zero, the bottom images will be tucked entirely under the top one and they won't be visible or clickable. So you'll want them to have some offset to peek out a bit. What I've chosen to set for mine is 37%. And that's it. I'll just update to save my work. Now we can see how all my images look and behave. Everything is working as it should. Now we can take one last look at the widgets page. So these examples from the widgets page are there if you want to use them as inspiration or if you want to copy their design, much like I did with this one for our tutorial. Whatever you decide to go for, the options we covered can help you realize it. And I hope going through this together has helped you to see how easy making these nifty little galleries can be with the key add-ons for Elementor plugin and its Cards Gallery widget. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and be the first to learn about new theme guides and tutorials. Thank you for watching.